It's the Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini. We got one of the best trainers in the business, man. Ernesto Rodriguez, Jerry Hurts trainer. All right, Ernesto, my next question is, uh, fans want to know, why does um, Jamel has to fight Arizandi Lord? Why you want that fight? Because people are saying that you want Laura to fight Jamel because you think Laura's going to beat Jamel so you don't have to fight Jamel. So can you tell me your thoughts on that fight you wanted to discuss about the Laura and Jamel fight? Yeah, uh, first, first before that, I just want to give a big shout-out to my main man, uh, Billy Robin. A lot of people, you know, the, they think that I'm, I'm just the – I am the head trainer, but this is a team effort. Billy Robin is my assistant and – you know, we're accomplishing together, and the reason why we have success is because I have a, a great uh, trainer behind me that allow us to be able to excel to where we're at. To answer your question is, um, the Jermail fight, the, the, the Charlo and, and um, Laura fight is a good fight, in my opinion. It's a fight that, that, that should happen. And the reason why I say it should happen is because right now, Jerry is not going to be available for Charlo. Uh, who else is out there? Uh, to fight Charlo besides Lara. I believe that it would be good, a good view since J Jared stopped Trout. Uh, Jermail just fought Trout. Jared beat Lara. Let's say Jermail beats Lara. It, in my opinion, it builds up the fight even more. It makes the fight so much more interesting. And the only reason why is because Jared is out. I mean, aside from that, if he wasn't out, then that's the fight that they should be make that most likely would, would have been made next. But the man is out. So if you ask me as a boxing fan, I'd like to see Jermail Charlo and Eric Lane La uh, go for it. I mean, they used to be teammates, um, and it'd be a, a quite interesting fight to watch. Uh, it's a 50-50 fight, if you ask me. I mean... Should Jamel Charlo win? We want him to win because Jared wants to be the first one to beat him. So we definitely would not like to see Lara beat him. But at the same time, it's a good fight. It's a good fight for the fans, for the public. I mean, it is what it is, man. You can't you can't try to vent a dog one fighter and then try to save the other. You know, it is what it is. That's the fight to be made. I like to see it. Would you like to see it? Yeah, I like to see it. I right. told you I've been wanting to see that fight for the years. You know what I mean? But, but um, my next question is, who do you think is going to win that fight? Who do I think? Yeah. Um, well, if if Jermail Charlo fights the way he fought Trout, he'll definitely lose. No question. I mean, he would definitely he'll he'll lose. Uh, but I'm sure he's going to make some changes. I'm sure his trainer, Derek James, you know, very well-known, uh, smart trainer, I'm sure they're going to make some changes if the fight, you know, comes to fruition. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, man. It's a 50-50 fight. I, I, I would like to see Jermail Charlo win. But there is a big chance that Eric Lanny Lara can win. To us, it really doesn't matter because we won the WBC. So it's up to Jermail Charlo to make sure he wins. You know what I'm saying? All right, so my next question, if Laura does beat Jamel, y'all not going to fight Jamel after that situation if he lose? Most likely not. We'll probably fight uh, the winner who has the WBC belt. Mm. But, you know, but the Jamel Charlo, he's going to win. He, he He's going to win. He has he's, to win. He's going to win? <laughs> he has to win. <laughs> you sure you know that stuff? Hey, he has to win. Uh, I think he can win. I mean, I, I think he can win. Uh, I think he can lose it as well. So, you know, I'm I'm eager to see how he will do against Aries Lanny Lara. And you can compare Charlo, you can compare Jared. Two different styles, but hey, who's, who's, will, uh, who's going to impose their will on each other uh, when the fight is made? You know, what I can tell you is this, bet with her, don't bet against her. Because they always bet against us, and guess what? Lose. They lose. Right, right, right. The Poop is in the pudding. Right. That's right. So if, so all right. So Laura, if y'all do, if Laura does beat Jamal and the fight comes mm -hmm. to fruition and everything, how would a rematch with Jared Hurd 
in your mind and your thoughts and your opinion? How would a rematch with Laura and Jared Hurd go? He gets stopped probably in the eighth round. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting, man. I never, we never seen Harry Zandy Laura hurt or even get stopped. So. He gets hurt in the 12th round. Yeah, you got hurt, hurt. I mean, yeah, he never got stopped, I meant. But round, he would have got stopped. <laughs> right, right. So if, if our, um. A few more seconds, he would have got stopped. <laughs> if Jared, if Jared didn't have that shoulder injury during in the fight. Mm hmm you think um, Jared would have stopped him? He would have stopped him probably in the eighth or ninth round, for sure, 100%. Mm. The reason why it took so long and the reason why we were so careful is because of the, the shoulder. I mean, once your body is, 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 once you get fight, once you stop fighting, your body gets hot. A lot of times you don't, you don't, you don't feel it initially, but as the round goes over, you know, you, you feel the, you know, the, the, the discomfort. And um, there's no doubt in my mind that he would have stopped him probably in the eighth, eighth or ninth round. You, if you watch a fight, he didn't throw that many left hooks. And the reason why he didn't throw a lot of left hooks up top is because of the shoulder injury. He threw to the body because he didn't put a lot of pressure raising the shoulder up. Right. So, um, you know, you can clearly see that, that you know, he, he was limited with the left hand. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind if they fight again, he'll stop him probably in the eighth or ninth round. But like I said, Styles make fight, man. We want Jamel to win. I like to see Jamel uh, against Aries Lanny Lara. You know, you can, you can do the comparison, uh, her Lara. Jamel uh, Lara. I mean, it's a good fight. It's, I mean, it, it's the only fight to be made, in my opinion, right now. Um, if you look at it, who who else there? Who else is out there that uh, Lara, uh, that uh, Jamel can really fight and be worthy of an opponent of the attraction? I mean, if, there's a few, but not none uh, with the uh, credentials that Eris Landy Lara uh, brings to the table. Right, right. All right, my, my next question for you, and 